Mika Tan is now in Belgrade, the capital of city of Serbia, for a leaders' meeting of China and Central European leaders' countries to push economic cooperation in that part of the world. He will begin his official visit to Serbia after the meeting. Premier Lee has already met Serbian Prime Minister Alexander Vucic and President of Serbia. He will also attend a ceremony uh, marking the completion of a Chinese-built bridge across the River Danube in Belgrade. And during his visit, a series of agreements will be signed, both government accords and business contracts, ranging from finance, investment, and aviation to culture information industries. Well, Premier Lee flew to Serbia after wrapping up his official visit to Kazakhstan as part of the three-nation trip, which will next take him to Thailand. The Department of Commerce has slapped steep tariffs on solar panel imports from China. And China says the U.S. decision will severely damage bilateral trade and cooperation and warns that Chinese enterprises will consider protecting their interests within the WTO framework and the U.S. legal system. Xu Geng has more on this. Closing a chapter in a trade dispute with China, the U.S. has imposed anti-dumping penalties on solar panel imports from China, ranging from 26 to 165 percent. For most companies, it will be over 50 percent. And anti-subsidy duties range from 27 to almost 50 percent. This is the second U.S. probe into Chinese solar exports. The first was in 2012, when the result was a punitive tax of over 24 percent. It's rare for a country to launch a second investigation on products of the same kind. Obviously, it's a kind of trade protectionism and an abuse of trade remedy measures. Chinese solar panel enterprises will continue their plea and may ask the government to protect their legal interests within the WTO framework. Yingli Solar was a leading supplier last year and is now facing a 52% anti-dumping tariff. It will certainly disrupt the solar panel market in the short term, and this protectionist measures will definitely impact Chinese enterprises in developing their global market in the long run. Some U.S. experts support the ruling, saying it will help the domestic industry return to conditions of fair trade. Others in the industry say the taxes will inhibit competition and disrupt the global new energy industry. My view is that, that we're in a dispute that is unnecessary and in an industry which needs massive cooperation, it doesn't need what I view as petty disputes. And, and so there has to be a lot of open and honest dialogue about this um, and it shouldn't be um, sort of dictated by companies that aren't able to compete that's not the government's job. The duties are still to be confirmed by the U.S. International Trade Commission with the final decision to come by January the 29th. Xu Geng, CCTV.